Oh no, the multiverse plague affecting every single media franchise has finally sunk its money-devouring roots into that of the PVZ Plush series. This will be an interesting one. The episode starts with- Wait, where's the zombies? Why are they not on the bin bag? That was iconic! Turns out Noctis moved because he was sick of sitting on a pile of trash. Shame, really. Creeps then shows off his amazing new invention that- Oh my god, guys! Multiverse machine? Creeps is like, We can just go to a universe where the plants don't exist and we can just yoink the gem. He then asks if some zombies would like to travel with him. Who wants to go? Me! I want to go! Codehead, the last time you did something like this, you caused two world wars. Yeah, but it was fun, wasn't it? He was going to take Picky, but- Well, you don't want to go, do you? You just sit in your room on your phone texting strangers on the internet. It's called e-dating, father. This- this act actually, it probably isn't the first mention of e-dating in the series, is it? He then takes Noctis and Purple, and they skedaddle away on some exciting and profitable multiversal shenanigans. Picky, enraged that his father dare disrespect the concept of e-dating, builds a different multiverse machine, and takes basic and- Homehead. He is unaware of the horrible things he is about to subject other timelines to. We then cut to Creeps, Noctis, and Purple in an alternate universe, which is apparently the exact same as the other one. Oh, nice universe, Crayon, it's the exact same thing! However, Creeps has a solution to this predicament. Ah, not if I turn the quirky meter up. Yep, the quirky meter. We then cut to a universe where... So warm. Ah! Okay, so it appears we're in some sort of universe where oxygen stimulates nerves to the brain to release chemicals associated with the feeling of love and possibly... Is your womb available, Crambit? Well, it's canon now. Well, this universe appears to be A. There's actually a video of this scene with creeps just saying A. And it has more views than any of these fucking... We then cut back to Picky, who has finished building the machine. Time to take my tyranny to the next level of reality. Don't do it, Picky, I'm begging you. Picky one-ups his father by letting people actually search for universes, somehow. They go to a universe without plants and... Oh dear, it appears Earth is dead. Picky then tries to go to a universe without purple, as he indirectly released the... I think we all know where this is going. Yet the last episode, and actually, this was foreshadowed, as during that episode, you can see Basic's head poking out from the rubble. Now that's good writing, and not something I made up because I forgot to move Basic from out of the shot. Basic calls Frederick a giant, giant pigeon, pigeon and sees purple in the distance, so Picky is like, Oh dear, it appears that this thing doesn't work. Fuck! <laughs> Yes, that scene is in the episode. Picky and the gang end up in the universe where all of the pictures of the voices have swapped for some. So Picky is all squeaky and basic and gold head are deep and masculine. Oh my god, I sound deep. I can finally speak to women. This then happens. What was that? Yeah, well, can we. <laughs> Oh my god, they go to the fucking Big Bang Theory dimension. Get out of there, lads. Sunflower! 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 What is it, Cherry? <laughs> Bazinga! Here's a fun fact about my childhood. When I was about 11, I was just sat doing my work in an English class. Everything was dead silent. And me... Being the foolish child I was, decided to just, at the top of my lungs, scream Bazinga in class. I don't know why I did this, but the teacher thought I had Tourette's and had me taken to speech therapy. So, do with that information what you will. Sunflower, I love you. Okay. Purple, Creeps, and Noctis are not amused and get out of the universe. <gasps> oh, what? This is a terrible... Why do they look like that? Why is this in... I hate... I don't like this. I just don't like this. 
So after Conehead yearns for the touch of a woman, we thankfully get the hell out of that wretched preteen cesspit and... Well, I feel at home. Well, personally, I... He's dead. We then cut to a parody of Super Mario Logan where the, uh, Jeffrey... Why? That's actually the most funny thing you've ever done. They get transported to the fucking 2009 YouTube poop dimension. Okay, time to get... No, dear. Pesky plumbers. Yeah, this universe transporter thing. This is mine. What? <laughs> Holy crap, Lois, it's... <laughs> oh dear lord. Holy crap, it's a Pikmin from the game Pikmin 2 on a Nintendo GameCube. Hey Peter. Hello. You know, this reminds me of the time I was in Family Guy. Oh dear lord. Holy crap, it's a Pikmin from the game Pikmin 2 on a Nintendo GameCube. Hey Peter. Hello. You know, this reminds me of the time I was in Family Guy. Conehead being a silly little Google snoogle, then traps them in a never-ending loop of Family Guy cutaways until the end of time. I warned you, picky. Noctis, Creeps, and Purple go to a dimension where everything rhymes. A word with no rhyme is your own name, Purple. Yeah, well, the R on my side. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Our physics are dead! Clean your fucking room. Picky, Conehead, and Basic are then sent to a horrible universe where everyone is the great and powerful Yoshi. Yoshi is then confirmed to be non-binary. Oh my god! Look at all they thems! We then cut to more universe hopping shenanigans. Ugh, why is it gone all dark? Maybe this universe is going through an emo phase! What was that? Maybe he knows! Can't believe it took until episode 34 for Freddy Fazbear to become canon to the PVZ plush lore. What is this? Um, why am I a horse? I sure love Sonic the Hedgehog. We then cut to the old, old, old videos. Wretched creations of mankind. Oh, you know, uh, I got a Pikachu. Um, and I got a Pikachu. What? And I got another. Oh, Conehead, that's quite silly. You can't have that many. Pikachu's. Picky tires of this and decides to go find his father across the multiverse where they all meet up and are reminded of the reason they actually wanted to do this. So decide to Can we see if there's a gem in the underneath in that universe or ideas and everyone was all anime like that was funny I think. Go to the get your life unit. <laughs> I hate this episode. Why do they look like that? They trick the get your life <laughs> they then go back to the actual main universe, but oh dear, they didn't pick that jab up, you dumb fucking idiots! Do you have brain injure? Well, they can just go, nope, they broke it. How did you break it? Good forget it, strand you in a random unknown fucking believers! And then the episode ends. That really was at PVC Plush episode 34, messing with the multiverse.